Hi, welcome. Today I'm gonna to show you a little bit of how to use our generator and some of the quirks about it and also just some great things about it. Her name is Ellen, as in Ellen Degenerator. And uh, I wanna just show you some of the things that you'll need to know about it. First of all, inside of this front door, which is on the right hand side of it from the hitch side, you'll open this door up and there's a battery compartment in here. And inside of this battery compartment, you'll find a switch. This disconnect for the negative on the battery, you simply have to turn all the way to the right and tighten to be able to make sure that the battery is connected. That's one thing that you'll always have to make sure is connected before you start the generator. Over here on the rear of the generator, you'll see that we have one of our normal disc locks that we have on the back of all of our trucks as well. This means that you can open it up with the key that you use on the truck as well. Go ahead and open that up. And back in here, you'll see that we have the keys to operate it inside. There's also a key on here to be able to unlock the key to the lock on the front where there's the trailer hitch lock. So this key, you will have to turn to preheat to be able to preheat the coils if it's a cold day out or if you're in a cold environment. Right now it's pretty, pretty warm. We should be able to start it right up. One thing you have to make sure of is that your fuel is full. You have a fuel gauge down here for the belly tank and we have another fuel gauge up here for the tank that's inside. If this tank, if this fuel gauge is empty, the generator may not be empty. It may have fuel down in the belly tank. This is where it draws from. So it will empty this tank first as this tank empties into this bottom tank. One thing you'll also have to make sure is over here on the side. You'll want to make sure that the generator is in the proper phase for what you're using. This is not something that you normally have to do, but if you're not sure of why you're not getting power, turn off the generator and check here. And turn this guy to one phase. This is now locked into one phase 240, 120, which is what we usually use. We'll go ahead and start up the generator. You'll notice that the speed control handle is in so that it is in its start and idle position. So you hold it. Once it's started, you pull out your speed control panel handle. One thing that you'll have to make sure is that once this generator is started, that your circuit breaker is on. Over here on this side, you'll see the outlets underneath this flap that says danger, high voltage, because there is high voltage here. So be careful when you open this. Right here is our first 50 amp circuit. This circuit is off of this circuit right here. So you, once the generator is running, make sure that your main circuit is on, and then once that's on, you can turn on this to be able to get power. The other 50 amp breaker over here is right on this breaker. And these two 20 amp here are off of these two circuit breakers here. Generally, I like to turn these off after we've used them at an event so that when you turn it on, these aren't on, so that it, these aren't live when you turn on your generator. I have one last thing to show you about this generator here, and that's just our trailer lock up front here. Now once you've taken off the lock from the back, and you have this set of keys, you have the ability to open the trailer lock. All you have to do is simply open up this lock, be able to take out the trailer lock. And then this ball hitch is a special ball hitch that is locking. So this shroud here is spring loaded. You pull this shroud back once this has been lowered onto your trailer and this will close and this should slide forward and you can lock it with this locking pin. Once this locking pin is in, you know that your trailer is safe to ride. You must also have the chains hooked up 
and the chains are normally stored right here and right here. And then once you've lowered your trailer onto the actual trailer hitch, make sure to bring this rod all the way up to its full upright position and bring the wheel out as well and stow that along with the two trailer chocks up underneath, up on top of this with our safety cable up here. There's a quick overview of LND generator. I hope you have learned some things from this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you so much.